As we have seen in the past few years, Qualcomm usually launches two flagship chipsets every year where there is a plus version offering a slightly better performance than the non plus version. Last year we got the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 and the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1. But while we are already in the second half of 2023, there hasn't been any Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 2 yet. And it is quite likely that there won't be one because if you don't know, there is already a chipset that Qualcomm has launched which is better than the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. And that chipset is the overclocked version of the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 which the Galaxy S23 series also had. And this overclocked version was also used in the Red Magic 8S Pro. So the next flagship SoC from Qualcomm is definitely going to be the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 which should launch somewhere around November or December. We already have a lot of leaks and rumors of this chipset but today we got the Geekbench scores of the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 and this benchmark report shows some big performance improvements. The device on which it was benchmarked is a Samsung device and going by the model number that is surely the Galaxy S24 Plus. The Geekbench report also reveals that the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 is codenamed named Pineapple and the phone is running Android 14 out of the box with 8GB of RAM. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 scores over 2200 points on single core which does not sound like a huge improvement from the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 or the Dimensity 9200 Plus since both these chipsets also score over 2000 points on single core. But the main improvement is in the multi-core score because the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 scores 6661 points on multi-core which is a massive improvement than the other two chipsets. I mean, we are talking about a difference of more than 8000 points, which is huge. And when the stable version of the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 is released, we are expecting even higher benchmark scores. The reason for this massive improvement in the CPU performance is because of the new core configuration that the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 is using. The 8 Gen 2 had a 1 plus 4 plus 3 configuration, whereas the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 has a 1 plus 3 plus 2 plus 2 configuration. Instead of the prime Cortex X3 core, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 is using the Cortex X4 core that is clocked at up to 3.3 GHz. Then there are three Cortex A720 cores clocked at up to 3.15 GHz, two more Cortex A720 cores clocked at 2.96 GHz, and finally two Cortex A520 cores clocked at 2.27 GHz. So basically there are now six performance cores instead of five and only two efficiency cores instead of three. And this is not the first time Qualcomm has reduced the number of efficiency cores and increased the performance cores. In fact, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 also had higher performance cores and lesser efficiency cores than the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1. And finally, it is also confirmed that the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 has the Adreno 750 GPU. So what do you think of all the performance upgrades the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 is bringing? Do let me know via the comment section below and as always, I'll catch you in the next one.